Hello Aquarians and Crosswatchers, welcome to your video. So I channeled a song by Hank Williams Jr. called All My Rowdy Friends. Um, I'm going to put the song with the lyrics in the description box below. If you want to check out the lyrics, you can. Um, you know, I don't know. I know what I got as sort of um, a download, a mental download of somebody who likes to party, have a good time, somebody who um, is able to choose or has a, a large choice of uh, friends or people who like to be around them. And it's like people like to be around this person when things are good, you know, this person could have a lot of affluence or influence. Um, and this person may have a lot of people around them when things are good and you know the vision i was shown is that um something may happen where the, this person doesn't have these people around them so it's like you know in america we say um talk about cook, kicking a good man when they're down okay um this could be a person who is larger than life and has an ill stroke of luck and then their so-called friends aren't around. Now this might come out in a segment of readings because I was, I was actually, I channeled four songs and then I was shown the whole vision of, like I said, this person who likes to, you know, party or have a good time. There's always people around this person because this person, you know, lives life largely. Okay. And people like to be in that person's energy, but then when something happens and that person can't live largely or, uh, provide opportunities for others, then there's just no one around. Anyway, I've already said my prayers and I'm just going to get into the reading, but I want to be the first one to tell you guys that you're so beautiful and you're so needed in this world. And I want to thank each and every one of you for sharing your time and your energy with me. I value you and the divine values you. And thank you. Thank you so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you. So we're just going to see what wants to come out, whatever, regardless, you know, if my vision was correct or not. Um, the tarot is going to tell the story. <laughs> so, uh, like I said, if you want to check out the lyrics, you can. They will be in the description box below. So let's get into this. Show me what I need to see for this reading. Show me what I need for this reading. And, you know, maybe, maybe it's, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe some of you guys are just going to go have a good time, get invited somewhere. But my vision was my vision, and I don't think I'm too far off with that. Yes. So if what Spirit showed me is um, over a series of possibly four readings, okay, this reading being the one where there was just somebody who liked living larger than life, you know, uh, life like a rock star but or a famous person, you know, they like all of that attention. And so this was a person probably... Uh, didn't want to settle down, liked being a bachelor or bachelorette, liked having all these options and, and um, people and things around them. But, um, you know, because I have paradise and I have a date, you know, and this talk, and it talks about, you know, getting the summer started. I know that we're not getting the summer started here anywhere <laughs> and where I'm living anyway, maybe in other parts of the world. But I really feel that I've channeled this correctly where um, somebody who was living a very, um, that kind of lifestyle, like a bachelor, bachelorette lifestyle, enjoying all that, um, something changes. <laughs> we have the coffin and then the phoenix. Something changes. Now, I don't know if that's going to come out in this reading because it could come out in a series of readings. Okay. I was told here. Give me one second. I was told uh, something, you know, over the series of the next few readings because I have a reading sort of showing the personality of this person and a reading of um, where there could be some ill luck, like I said, and then no one is around, possibly you. And then a reading where um, this person could return, all right? Because uh, realizing, you know, you don't, you know who your friends are when things are hard, and those are the people still in your life, and it's like that I feel. And then the fourth reading or the fourth song is like a tear-jerking type of song, which would be um, 
this reading is coming out Friday. This is Friday night, so Saturday, Sunday, probably Monday night reading is like sort of a tear-jerking song where this person would have probably maybe um, abandoned you at a time when you needed them the most. All right, so this isn't for everyone, and but this is for a lot of people. For me to channel um, four songs four readings, and I haven't even done them, so I do feel there's a story playing out here. So show me what I need to see for this reading. Celtic spread, yes. <laughs> four of swords. I am using a tarot deck that I feel fits this person's personality. As in the beginning, this is not who they're becoming, but in the beginning of the story, who they are. So I'm using a tarot deck called a badass tarot deck. Um, and there's, it's not appropriate to show on the camera, but I will show the clarifying cards anyways. And it does show that when this person comes around, um, they will have gone through some sort of heartache. Yeah, and they will, when they're going through whatever this trying time is, they're going to be thinking about you. Okay, and this is a person who um, was off of a spiritual path, but not off a spiritual path. In other words, they took a, a divine detour, okay, went through some sort of karmic lesson and had to realize that when they needed people, they had already surrounded themselves by false people. And so when they needed somebody, they weren't around, but that's when... They realize you were always around and that's also when they want to come in <laughs> um two of cups is funny I, I it's okay to show you two of cups but it's hilarious it says it's a match you know to me that's hilarious um give me the staff and then i will start to clarify here Yeah, this is a, you know, right now this person and you probably are not in conversation. This person is just having a good old time living their so-called best life until the wheel of fortune turns on them. And then that's when they realize, well, dang, you know, my person was around when things were tough. Things are tough now and my friends are not around Ah, I don't have friends. That's right. Somebody realizes they didn't have friends. All right. And it's the emperor. This is no, you know, look at this. It says uh, egotism, 500 milligrams. It's funny, but pills, you know, like I said, I feel like this is a person that, you know, um, they like to party. Okay. Um, they can probably get a hold of all the best stuff to throw a party as well. And this is a person who's going to be giving all that up. I can see where, yes. They're going to have a moment um, where they're going to be in their emotions. And then that's where they're going to realize they want, they want happiness. I mean, look at the magician. Magician snorting coke over here. It's, uh, and that's a card of Virgo. Um... That's a card of Virgo and Gemini. And it's funny because out of all my years on this earth, and I'm not saying anything about any any sign but me, people I've come across, the two biggest partiers that I ever knew in my life, one was a Virgo, one was a Gemini. That's, that's hilarious for me. So anyways, we're going to start clarifying. But this is, um, this is going to be a story if you feel like your story these next few readings might resonate. Um, like I say, the beginning of this story is starting off. Um, this is a person who could be ghosting you right now with the Four of Swords. This is a person who could be ghosting, not saying a word, um, living their best so-called life, okay, because they haven't hit rock bottom or they haven't hit, um, you know, because I'm, I'm telling you, this person... This person likes to party because look at the song I channeled. You know, hey, do you want to drink? Do you want to party? Okay, let's get the party started. This is a person who they live for the party, man. But something's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen, but something's going to happen. Maybe that's not going to come out most likely. That's not going to come out in today's reading. It's going to come out 
before Monday though because Monday was the last song channel for this little series of uh, these readings right here for the nighttime the nighttime readings the daytime quickie reading no this is going to be the nighttime readings tell me about that four of swords nine of pentacles like i said this is somebody who's ghosting you they're happy being you know by themselves alone they feel and this is a very abundant person this is a person who's just fine um without you because they have you know they appear to be single and abundant or they appear to be just fine on their own all right and this says <laughs> this says uh you know it's the ace of swords and it literally says i am free of your bullshit you know maybe you are free of this person okay if this was a person who's ghosted you and this is a person who hasn't spoken to you and this is a person who's living this kind of lifestyle okay you know the divine detour has protected you and the divine detour is taking them on a lesson tell me about that ace of swords that's the truth and the clarity that's going to come out or this is what this first person feels they just like to be free this is a person who likes to be free they don't like to answer to nobody um i just get vibes like that like um even the movie if anybody knows um a movie that came out in the 80s by Rodney. It's with Rodney Dangerfield. It's called Back to School. It's where he's older and he goes back to school. And he's always enjoyed, you know, his lifestyle. And then he falls in love with his teacher, no less. Um, and we have here a spiritual teacher. Some of you could be spiritual teachers. And this person falls in love with you. But um, let's just say spiritual. He fell in love with his professor okay he really loved the way that she you know read poetry and spoke and um like i said this is a person who's going to get some sort of clarity okay we have the judgment card here and we have the owl up here and this is a person who you know could party and become many different facets of themselves you know they could be different when they drink different when they like this is a person who can party they could be different when they do this different when they do that different and they're going to have some sort of wake up call here because the divine is watching all of this and this is judgment so you know they have their own free will and what they want is going to you know happen they wanted their freedom they wanted to be uh free of you or not be with you or whatever well there's going to be there, this is the thing this is a person trying to run from judgment and they can't they cannot run from judgment so this is going to be interesting how this plays out that's a card of scorpio and pluto energy and that is entering into aquarius and then on the bottom we have taurus energy right here this is a spiritual commitment or contract this is where literally somebody would go from partying to you know wanting a commitment because the movie that i'm thinking about with um the movie back to school with rodney dangerfield and then the song <laughs> my rowdy friends this is a person um i don't know who this person is and it's not for everybody this reading but this is a person who is going to want to settle down this is a person who will have had a multitude of experiences um as well like a fast life maybe the fast life was too fast yeah you know what's clarifying the chariot here is they're running right into the wheel of fortune reverse and that's what i said this is what i said in the beginning of the reading before this card even came out they're going to have a bout of ill luck a bout of ill luck and this wheel of fortune is that ill luck that's what they're running right into they're driving straight into it and pretty soon that's the root of this reading something's going to happen here 
Who knows? With the bottom of the deck, they might discover somebody steals something from them, leaves them high and dry. Somebody could figure out, you know, it's going to be different for everyone. All right, it's going to be different. However, the universe sees this person needs to learn a lesson is how it's going to happen. It's how it happens for all of us. This person is no different. You know, it's like my grandmother always used to say, if you give somebody enough rope, they'll do the job themselves, right? You don't have to catch them in anything. And this is a person who is going to literally tie the, their own knot. Uh, tell me about this three of swords. That's a heartache. Yeah, five of wands. You know, one of these people who are an option can definitely end up doing them in. However, they could do them in pretty, pretty good. And then that's when this person is going to be thinking about you and wanting to come back and realize that you always genuinely love them. We're never out to screw them. You were never out to be in their energy because you were going to get something or gain something from them. You didn't want money from them. You didn't, you know, guide them to do bad things. You only just loved this person and wanted the best for this person. And this person went into the direction of all that is bad for them. For the most part, when it comes to this, I mean... They obviously doing something else, right? They make money some kind of way, okay? Because they're able to buy all this stuff to party with. Tell me about the uh, what is that? The Eight of Swords. Wow. The Eight of Swords upright is clarified by the Eight of Swords reverse. When this ill luck happens, this person is going to be heavy in thought, okay? And that's when they're going to be thinking about you. The four of wands came out and wanted to come out here, and it's already here. When this bout of ill luck happens, maybe you warned this person, or it's just, I feel like, look, this person is by themselves. And they're thinking about, it could have been you, them, you know. You guys could have been a family unit. And this person is just like, sitting here miserable. Sitting here miserable. And thinking about it. That's when they're thinking about how. They chose a karmic situation, okay, and that they really hurt you. And that's why the reading that comes out on Monday, I'm pretty sure, that's the fourth song channeled. That's going to be where it's like, it's an old song I channeled, and it has a lot to do with, um, you know, somebody hurt you. Tell me about the four ones. It's a, it's a song that says something about you, you something when I needed you the most. I don't know. I will. When we get to that reading on Monday, you'll know more about it. Anyways, the near future we have. Six of Wands reverse, Six of Pentacles reverse. This is the thing. They're going to be thinking about you. Four of Wands, okay? Four of Wands. You know, this is... A happy union, a happy home. This is a completion. But they're not with you. Okay, they chose that. You see how it's supposed to be two people where there's one person. You're driving your own car over here and putting out good thoughts into the universe. This person is driving right into a heartache. This person is driving right into bad fortune. But it's going to be that that will wake them up. It will wake them up. So they're going to be thinking about you. And they're going to be in a Six of Wands reverse energy and a Six of Pentacles reverse energy. This is like, you know, um, I ruined this. How can I bring it back into balance? That's what they're going to be thinking. You know, I ruined this. The person, my ride or die, thank you, spirit. And then my phone just went off, you know. 
their ride or die is gone because they deemed it to be that way. They went out and chose a bunch of false, phony, um, temporary happiness, put a band-aid over it, okay? And their ride or die is gone, and they definitely chose it just like that. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles reverse. This is no conversation here. Ten of Cups reverse, Strength reverse. This could be someone who is family or like family. Um, this is could be a person who felt very happy around you. You could have felt very happy around them. Tell me about that. Yeah, Two of Pentacles. Like I said, it was their choice not to pursue you. It was their choice, 100%. Two of Pentacles reverse, Ace of Wands reverse. They chose it. They chose not to talk to you. They chose not to be in your energy. They chose not to start over. They chose it. And I'm telling you, they get stuck in it. They get a, a time of bad luck. Tell me about the moon. That's Pisces energy. They get into their emotions about Aquarius. You can't make this up, guys. Emotions, King of Cups. This is all emotions. You see how it's a watery sea of emotions? When their life goes south, they don't got nobody around them, guys. Nobody. And that's when they're thinking about you. You were always there until they pushed you out. Until they decided not to let you in. That's when they're thinking about you. You know, it's um, a lot of times human beings... Unless they're very conscious human beings, like a lot of you, a lot of times human beings don't know how to appreciate and have gratitude for something when something's already good. It's a lot of human beings, it takes something bad to happen for them to realize how good they had something with someone or something. And this is that energy. Because literally, when, when their bad luck happens, or their ill luck, whatever it is, this season of misfortune for them, their friends aren't going to be around them. And that's when they're thinking about you because you were the real deal. You were there. You would have been there no matter what. You were the ride or die. They chose a direction that was never going to be, um, nobody was ever going to be there truly for them unless they provided the party, the drugs, the money. Someone bails out. A lot of people are probably going to bail out on this person. Tell me about the sun, Leo energy. The chariot reverse. It's when this person is shown that they're not on the right path, okay? Because right here, they're going straight into misfortune. We have the chariot twice. The chariot is them driving right into misfortune. By them driving into misfortune, it's going to stop them in their tracks. They're going to be stopped in their tracks. And this is Cancerian energy, and the Wheel of Fortune is Sagittarius energy. This person is going to be stopped in their tracks, and it's going to give them pause to think. And they're going to be thinking, I need to get help. I need to get help. I'm literally losing everything. Tell me about the magician. Tell me about the magician. This is um, Mercury energy, Gemini, Virgo energy, two of swords. You know, it's time for them to get back on track is what they're realizing. It's time for them to get in touch with true happiness. It's time for them. The sun is very bright to get in touch with their consciousness and healing. This person has been living some clouded delusional life for quite some time, and they have been needing a change for quite some time. And they get to where their body just physically can't take it no more. 
they get to a point where they abuse their body so much. And like I said, all along, judgment is watching. Pluto is watching. Not being able to escape from judgment. Tell me about that four cups. That's a lot of drinks. That's way more than four cups. This four cups can talk about a lot. Oh, excuse me. This is not the four cups. This is the nine of cups. This is a lot of drinking and we have the queen of cups. Let's find out what these cards are saying. Tell me about that nine of cups. Three of pentacles reverse. Three of wands reverse. This is when somebody's forced to realize what they want, but somebody might be forced to enter into rehab. Okay. Literally. This could be a, for a person who's forced into some sort of rehab, especially, like I said, we don't know what could happen. We don't know what this misfortune is. You know, the chariot is reverse up here. We don't know if this mis misfortune is somebody who gets into an issue with their car while being intoxicated. But the point is, it's the universe who decides what this person needs as a wake-up call. This person, the, the universe decides what this person needs as a wake-up call. And you were literally saved of watching this person go through all this. And I believe you guys would have been there by this person's side. But I believe you were spared from seeing all this. Tell me about that Queen of Cups. They get a wake-up call. And it causes them to get on the right path. Queen of Cups is Pisces energy, it's water energy, but it doesn't have to be Pisces or water at all. The thing is, it causes them to think about the person who loved them. The Queen of Cups has a lot of love and emotion. Now, they've lost that love and that emotion. They've lost that friend They've lost you, and it causes a lot of instability for them. But this is a big loss for some of them. For some of them, they chose a whole, like I said, for some of them, some of them are going to be dece deceived and stolen from. They're going to lose everything. Somebody will gain all of their possessions, and they will be broke. It just depends on what the universe deems this person needs to go through in order to get back on their spiritual path because this person is way off their kilter and there's going to be somebody the universe puts in this person's path and it's going to stop them in their tracks. And when that happens, that's when they're going to finally start to change. That may come out in tomorrow's reading. We'll see. Um, but tomorrow's reading, I believe, is more geared about you and this person are in connection in the 5D because of the song that I channeled. Uh, you'll know that when tomorrow's reading comes out. Anyway, guys, I'm going to close out with an oracle card here. I want to thank each and every one of you for showing up to the reading. Um, thank you so much. I've never channeled this way before. Like, literally... Uh, a little drama story here like a series <laughs> we have the first quarter moon in Aquarius and it says trust the universe and that's all you have to do trust that the universe took this person out of your life to spare you from watching all of their recklessness and trust when the universe brings this person in it's going to be because they really um, want to get back on track okay First quarter moon and Aries step into your power. I believe that that's when this person will step into their power. I believe that you're already in your power. They're going to be given a dose. Like all of this is planned out by the universe to get this person back on track. Anyway, guys, I want to thank all of you for showing up, for being here, for hanging out with me. I love you all and namaste, my friends.